Hey guys, this is Solrack333 with another custom review. And here I have my uh, customized Transformers Combiner War Voyager Megatron. Uh, this started off originally as the uh, Combiner War Starscreen. And uh, went ahead and just did a couple of modifications and turned them into Megatron. Um, you know, since I guess Megatron will no longer be a gun of some kind. Um, and, uh, you know, since the Decepticons were a bunch of jets, I thought why not turn him into an Earth Mode jet. Not a Cybertronian one, not some tank or whatever, uh, but a jet. So, here he is in his jet boat. I gave him the usual flat black base coat with Krylon spray paint, and then dry brushed with uh, testers acrylic silver, and then reds, blacks, gunmetal, and I like my Megatron's pretty simple. Um, I could have easily added more detail but I wanted to make him as silver as possible and uh, there you go. So the gunmetal, the, the cockpit class is gunmetal, silver, the back of the thrusters are painted um, with like reds, yellows and oranges kind of blended. Yeah. And so yeah there it is. His robot mode or jet mode. Here's his landing gear. Right there. I think it came out pretty cool. To transform him, just get the wings out of the way. Untab this. Hinge it up. Separate the forearms. Then pull out the legs. Now, one of the mods I did was I filled in the hollow legs so I used aluminum foil to pack in the empty space and then used putty and then sanded it smooth so no more of that ugly uh, hollow uh, leg thing I also did that to um, I forgot to mention it to the dark of the moon Megatron so yeah no more hollow legs there aluminum foil and uh, putty. Then all the tail fins collapse this back. Then rotate 180. these down. I like to hinge the wings like that and rotate the head. And the head came from the very old classics deluxe Megatron, the tank one, the green tank. So yeah I've had the spare head for years and I finally found a figure to use it on. So here he is in his robot mode. You can see his red elbows. These unfold, tab onto the knees, and you can see more red on the inner leg. Red on the side there. And then little blue, yellow, and red accents on his chest or his abdomen and then even though that's supposed to be the cockpit I wanted to keep his chest silver um, I don't want to paint a fake cockpit so I'll keep the cockpit in the back and then he can just have a regular chest I guess and then his fusion cannon now the fusion cannon came from those cheap little transformer non-transforming figures at Walmart um, for like four or five bucks like soft rubbery figures so I cut the fusion cannon off that Megatron again filled it in with aluminum foil used putty added this uh, from those uh, crazy straws they are the same width as those five millimeter joints 
or uh, pick holes. So there he is, Megatron, with his complete with his fusion cannon, looking pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I wanted a jet Earth mode jet Megatron to go along, go along with the Seekers, and I like how he's actually taller than Starscream. Normally I don't care for Megatron being taller, um, but in this case it works out well. Jet versus truck. So the head is small, but it does fit this figure for transformation. But yeah, they look good. And then see Megatron with the classics Henkei Megatron gave him a back gun and made the wings removable so Henkei Megatron with the Siege Megatron I'm tempted but I'm not going to paint him. I'm going to leave him as is. Sometimes I like the toys as they are. Here is the inspiration for making that custom. Here's the Titan Master Megatron. And the same toy that I grabbed this fusion gun from that's what I use the head for this one I don't like headmasters uh, so I was able to give him a new head even though it's still removable but yeah but this yeah the idea of Megatron being a jet is what made me want to do this one and then Uh, Fall of Cybertron Megatron same paint scheme silver black and red another silver black and red Megatron Just for the hell of it. I mean, that's my gripe with the live action Megatron. That it wasn't until the third movie that Megatron had some kind of Earth mode. Not a fan of, you know, this looks cool. Just not a fan of the Cybertronian mode on Earth when they're supposed to be in disguise. But anyway, here is. Again, my Combiner Wars. Oh, before I go, I keep forgetting this part. I keep forgetting it because I have no plans on combining him. But here is the head painted up in Megatron colors. Even though it's Starscream's coronation head. But I painted him up anyway. And tuck back in. That's why I don't plan on combining them. There you go. So finally, my Combiner Wars Megatron. 